Cycling legend Lance Armstrong remained cool for the cameras at a charity event in Austin, Texas yesterday, not betraying any particular concern about the immense doping scandal that surrounds him. The United States Anti-Doping Agency has already unilaterally stripped him of his titles and banned him from racing for life, for his part in what it has called the most sophisticated doping program that sport has ever seen. Armstrong was one of the most successful cyclists of all time, surviving testicular cancer at the age of 28 to go on to win the Tour de France a record seven times between 1999 and 2005. He's always denied allegations that he used performance-enhancing drugs. Uh, let's celebrate the Tour de France, but let's celebrate, that, that's great, but let's celebrate uh, the survival of cancer. Armstrong's net worth has been estimated at around $125 million. According to Forbes magazine, he earns more than $10 million a year in speaking fees and endorsement deals. Corporate sponsors, including Nike, Trek and Budweiser, have already cut ties with the disgraced sporting hero. Rumors began to circulate in 2005. Today, the USADA report leaves little room for doubt, including, as it does, eyewitness, documentary, first-hand, scientific direct and circumstantial evidence. Eleven of Armstrong's former teammates have spoken up, but Armstrong has refused to speak out. He now stands accused of organizing the doping ring, trafficking drugs and coercing others into doping. Team doctors Michel Ferrari and Garcia Del Moral have also received lifetime bans for their part in the conspiracy. Armstrong is now retired and in the wake of the revelations has stepped down from his charity Livestrong. The evidence is said to show prolonged use of EP blood transfusions, testosterone, corticosteroids, human growth hormone and masking agents. Armstrong's lawyer Tim Herman has denounced the report as a one-sided hatchet job, but Armstrong himself has still said very little.